<clears throat> G'day YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Um, hope you guys have been following me for a while now. If you haven't, subscribe to the channel um, and click the little bell icon so you get notifications of new videos. I put videos pretty much every second day, which is um, very, very extreme, I guess, but I just put it as whatever chance I get to work on a tree, I'll video it and put it up for people to watch. Maybe they can pick up some pointers. Um, obviously, aimed at, <coughs> I'm more aimed at the beginner market obviously the beginner beginner people um and you know just show you how i go about my trees and what i do so hopefully that helps people um so today's quite interesting because i have this beautiful little mugo pine and now it's my only mugo pine um <clears throat> have said as you've seen in my other videos i do like black pines um a lot but this is a mugo pine that i pretty much had when i i found it as a a raw piece of uh, field grown stock in a, in a nursery somewhere it was in a hessian bag so and i picked it up it was probably 20 plus 20 years ago at least um when i found it and it was just big long spindly um pieces of growth and i didn't know much about bonsai back then so i just you know go oh, that looks really cool pine and thought i'd use all those trunks and then i cut cut them off and you know grew a tree that was um pretty much this tree had a pretty much growth as side 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 like a normal triangle tree however this side of the tree started to die off for some reason um and eventually became a uh, you know more what do you call this kind of tree more of a uh, semi cascade not even that but more on this side of the tree like it's a whatever that style is i'm not even sure um but bjorn was he bjorn bjorn was here probably a couple of years or probably 2015 and we restyled it um into that shape now obviously you can see it's kind of overgrown which happens um after you've done styling on trees so it's just my it's more my fault i just um didn't really look uh, look after the tree as much as i should in terms of refining because you guys aren't my strength so single growth um single growth pines are just not my strength at the moment i haven't learned how to do them properly yet in terms of when you cut the you know pinch out the candles and things you only can pinch them out once i believe so I'm still learning those techniques. Um, not 100% sure on my, like I haven't had the experience to know how they behave, if that makes sense. Um, but this year I did do the pinching and I can see lots of multiple new buds in there. So it kind of is working. Um, but today's all about actually restyling this tree or styling it up and going through and getting it really nice and looking really good again. It's a bit bushy, it's just bushy at the moment. It's a lovely tree though. You can see all the years I've spent trying to get that to recover and do really well. It's all one-sided, so it's all on that side, and with, with a bit of, bit of branching at the back. Um, but it's a nice, nice little tree. The pot's a bit too big for it, but that's that's okay. We can we can deal with that in the future. So one one thing we want to show you today is one thing I'm going to start with is we put some when Bjorn was here in 2015. We put some shari down the trunk. Now I was just playing around with my knife and I was able to go ooh just peel off some bark and actually just fell off meaning the the that that cambium part has actually died back even more which is great it means we can have a shari down the trunk i think i'm going to keep exposing that i think it goes all the way down so we can have one side of this now um now all uh, gin uh, all all shari it's going to look really nice actually because there's a gin up here that all extends all the way down into here i'm just seeing if it goes all the way down into here which i think it does so we could have one side nice shari so it's going to be beautiful i'm just going to keep peeling away with my knife um, and try and expose that first so that's the first step for exposing the the dead wood then i'm going to clean the dead wood then i'm going to lime myself for the dead wood and then i'll do redo the tree so a bit of work to do today i'm going to see how far i can get i probably can only get to because i want to lime sulfur and then it's got to dry and as long as it dries um then i'll be good so lime sulfuring make paints the wood um, and makes it white more white and i use a 50 50 50 water 50 lime sulfur mixture just like bjorn um, so that's what i'm planning to do at least do that bit today um, and then hopefully i get a chance let that dry and hopefully get a chance to come back and rewire it um, which will take me a long time i could actually wire actually maybe i could actually could actually because the trees the shower is on this side and then the lime sulfur is going to be on this side and i can actually probably wire all this tree here this side anyway so I probably could do that anyway, so that's okay. But what I'm planning to do is thin out this tree. It's actually too too much too much needles. I want to get an even even amount of needles on there, things like that. Cut maybe cut back to a smaller smaller brand, smaller smaller bud inside, 
So I'm probably going to set this tree back a little, um, but it's for it's for long-term um, um, objective. So anyway, I'm going to get started. I'm not sure if you can see, but I won't show you all this. But I just I was just picking with my knife and just trying to see, but it just flakes away. When it's flaking away, meaning it just flaked all away. So just so you can see the. Hopefully you can see the, the brown, I mean, the wood there. I'll, I'll just zoom in, maybe. So I'll just zoom in here. <coughs> so you can see this bit here has come, all, has come all down. And when I actually pick, there's actually a cut dead bit there. So let's have a look. You see how it just flaked right off? I just get my knife under and just flakes right off. Now, if that was that was um, live, that wouldn't be able to do that. So it's just flaking right off, which is cool. Cause it means we can actually run the shari all the way down. So I'm just trying to find where the live bit is, and you can see the live bit because um, it's kind of raised. It's kind of raised up. The the cambium's higher than the. So at the moment, this bark is really flat, and it's flat against the hardwood. On the on the live side, that's actually quite raised up. Oh, well, I'll try and show you, but this side's all dead. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I can just get my knife under it and it just peels off. It just peels right off, and it's flat. That's probably the giveaway. I just got to find out where it extends to. That's usually the hard bit. Bit. We'll be coming up to some live stuff now. So this bit is a bit harder, but I think it's a little bit there as well. Anyway. So we've got to actually get this dead cambium off. I think that I think it's about here, the live. So you know, that's all dead. See how it starts to get more wider? I think it's starting to get towards the live. Yeah. So I'm just gonna carve this away and then I'll come back and show you how it looks. Um, and then we'll clean it up, okay? All right, so you probably see now that I've um, exposed actually that piece there. It looks quite good. It is quite nice, big wide bit. Comes up through here, narrows, and there's got a gin here and the rest of the gin there. So I'm just going to get a toothbrush with water and just start scrubbing away, and let's see how this all comes up. It's just to get rid of the dirt. Really, it's just yeah, getting rid of the dirt. Because when you don't want to put lime stuff over dirt, you want to have a nice, clean bit of wood to deal with. And you can see it scrubs up pretty good just with water. Some of the older bits are a bit more. It's a bit loose that one, but that's alright, it will stay there. And it's just dirt. It's actually just dirt. It just comes right off. Now this would be quite a few hours work. So, you know, by the time we do this, you can see cleaning, lime just then we've got to do the lime sulfur. You really got to set yourself aside an afternoon or a morning to, to get this amount of work done. Um, so I only got weekends, as I mentioned to you guys previously. It's, it's all about weekends for me and how much I can get in done on a weekend. Um, 
Yeah, so I think a lot of people are in the same boat. Um, if you've got weekends, then what do you do? How do you get through all your trees? I think the most important thing is planning. Like, plan what you want to do. Like, I try and think of, okay, that's going to be the tree I'm going to do next week. Um, then I'll say, okay, I need to do, I need to do that this morning. I need to get through as much as I can. Because, you know, weekends aren't just a bad bonsai. <laughs> you still got to do all your chores and your all your other stuff, chores and shopping and all that kind of stuff. Go to this, go to this place. So, whatever time you can get, spend it wisely. Um, yeah. And work quickly, but efficiently and safely. You know, don't, don't rush a tree that isn't ready. Um, Spray myself with water everywhere. But I'm thinking you guys can see how clearly that's coming up. So, see how nice and... You can actually see the lot. You can see the, see the deadwood now pretty clearly. See that bit I haven't done yet, but this is all getting nice and clean. This needs a bit of work because obviously it's been exposed to the sun quite a long time. Now, one thing nice up here is um, you can see the strands of wood or the, the, the actual nice... That's actually very nice and... What's that called? The the, light, the veins of the wood? It looks really nice. So, this is going to be... This should come up for a real trick. So I'm just going to keep doing this, clean it up, and then I'll come back and show you the lime sulfur. Alright, so I've completed the um, cleaning of this area. Now, it looks nice, I and mean, still nice and wet, which is good, because it helps the um, lime sulfur to go on much better. So, we're going to start now. I'll just show you. I just use an old jar, and I've got a concoction here that was about half lime sulfur and half water, about half half, 50 50. I usually mix up a jar like this and just leave it um, and seal it. Um, use a paintbrush, whatever. I usually have bigger ones for bigger trees and smaller ones for smaller trees. Um, paint this on, let it dry in the sun. It's a nice sunny day, so it should dry up really well and come up really well. Um, the, the trunk's wet, so you got to should try and keep the dead wood wet when you put this on, um, and just start going for it. And it's very smelly, and it looks terrible, but it does the job. So I try and keep things out of the way while I do this. It's pretty easy to apply, but you just got to let it dry. Might do another coat, depending on how it comes up. And as I said, it's a bit smelly. It's stinky. pretty quick because it's only a small tree now I have a I have a very large olive that I'm still carving or I'm gonna do a video on carving it um, which is what I wanted to to do as well but I need to when you do carving you need to the lime sulfur as well so that's the plan now I'm just gonna let this dry it didn't take too long let's see how it comes up I might need another coat I've got this gin over here that I'm doing as well. Pretty quick, pretty easy. That's all I'm doing. I just want to close this lid because it stinks. Uh, and I'm just going to leave that in the sun to let it dry off a little. Uh, Got to go wash because it's stinky. Um, 
But yeah, that's pretty much the first coat. We'll see how it comes up. Doesn't seem like anything at the moment, but just give it time, let it dry and let it settle and hopefully it will come up nicely. Um, we can now look at the tree, I guess we can look at it. Really this is about just thinning out, as I said. Um, I'm just going to come in here. I might have to cut things back because they're starting to get too long. Cut back to a smaller branch. Um, go do the same things that we always do if there's three, then we'll cut back to two, um, that kind of stuff. So um, in this case, we'll start with the bottom branch. The tree is going to be pretty much the same style with just this little bit on the side here just poking out. And then this this is the uh, this is kind of the apex with this is on the other side. And then this is the main branch. There's only actually one big branch here, one big branch here, and a side branch in here. So I think it's got three branches, three main branches, and that's it. So one up there, one here, and one down here. So three main branches. Shouldn't be too hard to do, but I want to look at the tree. Oh, I smell. Look at the tree carefully and um, see how we assess it. So I always start with the bottom. I do want to go back to two, 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 and once I do that, then it should actually thin out the tree quite considerably. So let's start doing it as, as we speak. While the while the long sulfur dries, and you see it's a nice sunny spot, so it should actually come up all right. All right let's start here. So we're looking here. It doesn't really have much. It probably needs to be thinned out a little bit. No, no need to take anything off. Just pluck a little few of the old needles. Um, that's going to need plucking at the base when we when we wire it, so. That no, no hanging needles come up so why do that just now all, all i want to do first is go um, find any threes and take them out so two looks like two there two there it's not too bad it doesn't have many twos so i must have done this uh must have done that work a while ago yeah it looks okay but yeah another another one where i've got to pluck all the ones underneath that looks okay looks okay anything that's anything that's yucky in a browning i won't get rid of but Nothing there. Okay, so in here looks like we've got. In here looks like there's one, two. Looks like there's three in one spot, and it's kind of getting ugly. Now, the question is, do we cut the middle one out, which is the thinnest then weakest, or cut this heavy one out? Now, let's see the silhouette. Yeah. Probably need the longer one because everything else will fill in around that spot. So I might get rid of the weak one. I should clean up those so they're not no stubs. Yeah, and if I see little stubs and things that are dead, I'll clean them off with my branch cutters. Cut them out. I do pluck some old needles when I'm going. Yeah, but I won't do the once I wire then I'll pluck everything that's underneath. Let's go here. So this has got two, two by two, that's fine. Let's go another two. It's got this, it's got this unusual branch up here. It's only still two, but it's sitting on top. Well, I think I'll leave it for now. Two by two, that doesn't need to be there. That doesn't need to be there. Got a pluck, got a pluck. Anything that, I can see little twigs that are dead, so I'm just, they're the ones that I'm plucking off with my hand. Let's see, let's see, like little dead bits are like that, just dead. Let's cut them off. Again, there's not much, not much threes at all. So I must have done, as I said, I must have done this work some time ago. Obviously, got it right. Now in here looks pretty confusing. Oh. Just try and bring the camera in. Let's have a look. So in here, you'll see we got one, two, down here, three, four. Now they're not really a three because they're kind of at different spots, but it's starting to look unattractive. So I almost treat this like it's in one four four in one spot. It just doesn't look right. So I need to think about which ones I'll keep. Yeah. I might keep the ones that are most, the ones with the most um, buds and closer in. So it might be the two smaller ones because these two smaller ones have lots of small buds and it's got inner buds as well. Whereas these two have very long, they're actually long, there's nothing on them. 
long and there's nothing on them, so I might have to get rid of those two. Here's the first bit of chopping we do. Quite a bit. But it should be beneficial to the tree. So let's take those two off. And that should be much nicer, see? Much better. So it's the heavy ones that we need to worry about. The small little ones, yeah, we can just remove them. Let's go inside one, that's fine. It's a bit of a jungle out here. But that's two nice ones there. Oh, got a branch growing from my crotch. And it's quite a big one. Quite a long one. That was inside a crotch, so two big branches and it's growing in the middle there. Get rid of that. Bring us back to two. Back to two. Now in here there's three and there's one that grows down. So in here this this one, one, two, three. And this guy is growing down. Easier is to take the one that grows down. When you have options. <laughs> Uh, now into the back of that branch. All these will look pretty good, pretty healthy. Again, all it needs is, there wasn't much we took off then, um, but I think once we start wiring, we'll see what else we can remove. Uh, so yeah, took off a couple of branches, nothing major in terms of the three, so that's good news there on this, on this lower one. Um, I could start working on that, but let me just go through the top as well and see, see if we can remove anything. Because I really don't want, I want that to dry before I wire anything. I want it to have, I want to have a dry shari because otherwise you put it on and you put wire and you've got to reapply something to work. So, and, okay, let's start with this guy. So, that's two, but there's some sickly ones in there and some dead ones in there. That's two there. That's the top one in there. Mm. So if I see a long one, I've got to get rid of these things. They're too long. There's so much finer branches in place. I'll leave you for now. So what's happened is I've got nice, nice, nice branch going too. And then I've got another one that's kind of in here and sitting on top of it. So sometimes I've used it to do um, layering. So that's why I'll probably have to leave that one just for now. And see where else we can find stuff. Might get rid of this one. So in this case, I have two and one goes straight up to the one that goes straight up. Now sometimes what happens is you find some smaller branches and some heavier ones. Now, in the apex, you don't want to have too much too heavy. So you probably want to cut back to small ones. So let me try and show you. So the apex is pretty full on. I've got a lot of branching. So I've got a little small one here and a very heavy one here, it's quite tufted. So if this is nicer and smaller, most likely we'll cut back to that. Okay, so that's what you need to look at. And I'm thinking, we design that apex in there. Must have the smaller ones, rather than the big one. But I might leave that for now, because once we start wiring, we'll be able to tell better. Because this is where you've got to build your apex in here. So I'm just going to figure out, what, that looks too heavy, and I think it will go but not just yet. Again, if I find long ones, I prefer to get rid of them than anything else. Especially in the apex, you want small ones. You want stuff that's about half that size, like that. Right, moving on. So this is this is tricky because if you wire all this out, that's going to have to sit nicely in there. So we just got to make sure. And this is a really heavy one in here that I'm going to cut off to something smaller. It's quite thick, and I cut back to a smaller one. There's a one that goes on the top. So thin that out. Good. Like 
I'm just there's some really heavy branching that I'm just having to remove and cut back to a smaller one. Um, yeah. So always the apex seems to grow stronger, and that's always been always with every any tree that's a problem. Yeah. Now at the back here, I've got this real. I've got an option: a really long, thick one, or a smaller, shorter one. So you see, even though it's got a lot of foliage at the end, there's nothing here. So it's going to go, and it's in the back. So in the back, you just need the depth. You don't need huge long branches. Um, so now we get to the back, and let's have a look. Now the back is too long. You can see how really heavy and that long that's gone from side on. So I think that we're going to have to cut back quite a bit in there because we we'll, we need this side and we need just something to fill in that spot. Maybe we can wire down a bit. Maybe we can wire some down. But let's do the proper thing and cut back things that we don't need. Let's see. Let's start again. One, two, that looks okay. That's okay. This is very unusual branching here that goes back across. Yeah, maybe we can get to that. Yeah, I think I think you have to go. It says it's going in a totally the wrong direction of the rest of the bit, so it's a fairly big branch we're catch, cutting off. Um, but it opens up the tree a bit better and opens the apex up. We've got lots of branching in there. You won't even miss it. So what I have noticed though, it's got a lot of branching in here now. And a lot of heavy stuff too. So these are really good, really good, really good. Really good, really good. Problem is in this area, you probably can see it on camera, it's quite thick and heavy and it's starting to really get swelled up in that area. It's like there's actually reverse taper in that area now as well. Uh, so it hasn't, it's just grown very strongly. Um, and as I said, we probably have to, because now we just want to look at the design and I want to see, because that will be there. It doesn't need all that heaviness in the back there. Um, I could probably cut the heavy ones out. Because I don't want that tree to go down too much. Like I don't want to be wiring branches all the way down here when it doesn't need to be. It just needs maybe these ones wired down. Right. So I'm just going to think about cutting the big ones off. Oh, I know this this one here is quite big. I'm going to cut him off. So very heavy with a bit of tuft. I'm just going to clean up that wound. So that's that's good. Freed up a lot there. Um, hmm. A lot of these are quite, but they're not too bad. They're not too long. So now they're not too long. A little bit long. But I might be one of those. Can I wire all this down into place, and then let's cut those off kind of thing. And I think I can. All this can be wide, but it's how the tree, the tree looks. Because the apex will form in here and that will form in there. So yeah, there we go. Hmm. Alright. That's the first quick round of getting eliminating some branching. Um, not the bit not not everything, but at least it's a start. Uh, the apex is probably gonna be the hardest because a lot of the branching has grown the branches have grown quite a bit and a little bit of tough tough the foliage at the top so if I can cut back the smaller in the apex, that'll be important. So just gonna let that 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 needs to now dry. It's starting to whiten up, especially you can probably see that colouring up here. Probably not as much here, but up here I can see it getting quite nice. Um, but yeah, probably that definitely needs another coat. So I might, I might do another coat in about five minutes, let it dry a bit more, um, and then I'll go away and come back and look at this tree again. I can actually probably start wiring this. Yep, I could probably start wiring all this. So we'll do that as well, and we'll just work our way through it. Just got to get organized and get some copper wire, etc., ready to go. Okay, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, right. So really, what I'm going to do now is um, 
I'm going to start wiring the tree and wire the branch. So I might come back and I'll wire all this and I'll come back and show you um, after it's wired because that's going to take me probably a couple of hours work. <laughs> Not that much, but and probably an hour's work just to wire. But um, at least I've taken you through the whole story of the tree and um, let's see what it looks like once I've finished wiring. I'll probably be trimming some branches off as well. Uh, but yeah, that's what I'm going to do now. And um, let's see how that turns out as well. The the, the shari in, in in a couple of hours time. Okay. All right, I'll do a quick update. Um, so I fully wired this lower branch here, um, and I, you'd see how much it's thinned out as well. Probably not the best lighting to get the tree in, but I've tried to create a pad in here pad here. This one should be slightly lower than this one under here. There's one in here that's slightly above. So one layer there which is slightly me, probably in the middle. This is the lowest. This is probably just a bit above that one. And then there's a small one at the back here that's created um, another pad in there. So maybe I'll twist it around like that. Maybe you can see that would be better. So you see how these different layers I've tried to crack. <coughs> And everything's trying to be clean underneath, clean underneath. I thinned it out quite a bit. Actually, took off more branching than I thought. All the long, like really long ones with little bits of tough to foliage at the end. That's what I removed. Um, haven't obviously you can see I haven't started in this section here. The interesting thing is when I when I had a look at this again, I was I was having a look in this area here where that root was coming down. Where that, there was a root that was coming down that was dead, and I had a poke and it was actually all hollow. So I started to hollow that out. I don't have my best carvers here. So I couldn't do a proper job of hollowing that out. So I had to reapply loam sulfate in that area. But it's coming up quite nice, um, the contrast. I'll show you close up when I finish the tree of the different areas and, and so on. But I just want to show you a quick update on these layers. Um, getting windy, that's all right. Um, and the sun's not the best angle to see this tree, but I'll do a better video of the tree when it's finished. But you can see, hopefully you can see those layers. So next, next bit, let's work on the top of the tree. I'll probably start with this one. And leave that to the end because I want to get the apex right once I set that I can figure out what I'm gonna do with that side branch there okay all right further update um, again probably not the best lighting but the apex has been created that branch has been uh, wired out fully all the way around so you can see I've had to bring the apex down and forward which is the which is probably why what happens when you let the tree grow at the top and you don't look after it and don't trim back to the to the sh closer shoots it takes off so you've got to have to wire it down and into that and moving forward so you can see it's all wired up pretty nicely try to do different layers and pads in the different areas now i'm just going to see what i'm going to do with this bit at, at the back here and we're getting towards almost the finished tree um, so hopefully the light stays with me while i clean up that section um, and we'll see what it looks like Okay. Um, one thing that, as I was looking at the tree, one thing that came to mind is what if that wasn't there? What if that back branch wasn't there? Um, it'd be interesting because it actually creates quite a nice, quite a nice tree. Maybe I'll tilt it this side a little bit, and it explains why this side of the tree got killed off. Um, and that's another dead bit over there, possibly. Like I'm, I'm contemplating, that's not too bad of a tree. I'm looking at it. It's quite a nice tree, just like that. Um, the only thing, I, the only reason I want to keep it is just to keep a bit of foliage in that area to make it a bit more rounded canopy. But now that this tree is more formed in here, I don't think there's a need to have something at the back there. So I'm just going to look at it a bit more, and I haven't decided what I'm going to do just yet. But yeah because as I said the apex now is around here wasn't the apex used to sit around here and now I'm thinking uh, it's changed so the trees changed a lot there's nothing really unless I wire these trees these branches back into here or wire those around here it's not going to be the best apex so the apex has changed to be more in the front around here so it's more in the front around here rather than at the back here um, maybe that's maybe that's a reason you can remove that possibly do I pull the apex back over there I don't think I can actually I don't think it will work anymore apex needs to be forward I think um, so yeah a bit of a dilemma a bit of a question to ask 
but I'm going to thin it out and it's got to be a lot smaller that branch anyway so I'm going to see what it looks like much smaller so let's let's play around with some ideas okay I'll come back all right so it's probably not the best lighting but the sun's come out and it's not going to be show you the best angle so I start to remove some of the branching that I need to come off because what I wanted is I only want a short little back and I've got this bit of foliage here that I can just wide down and, and fill out that little back area there. Problem is this is very fat and ugly and heavy and that's to keep a little bit of foliage on something fat and heavy I've just got questions over. So I've reduced enough I think I can keep if I want to keep that I'll keep all these little ones um, just to fill in that fill in that back there. But the more I look at it, I don't really see any value in keeping that in there. I'll just show you the thickness. So, so you see how fat that is? You see how fat that is, guys, right? It's all reverse tapered and everything. So if I want to keep that foliage, this foliage here, you see it's kind of on this, this half of the... Whereas that is all really fat. It's reverse taper, so that's skinny and that's really fat. So I'm just thinking, I'm, I'm not I'm not really keen to keep this. I just want to see, I'm going to thin it out anyway and see if it looks okay. So I'll put the camera back. Right. So I just wanted to show you that and we'll see what I do. All right, so the more I looked at it, the more I realized it's a back branch and the tree's changed it will long term that's going to go anyway so i might as well do the job now and get rid of it so i might might create a gin see what it looks like but i'm going to get rid of all this the bright side is i don't have to worry at all but it's a really ugly branch you know i'll just show you that you see that hopefully you can see how fat and ugly that is not really really the best so and now I've got a much more interesting one-sided kind of tree, apex developing. Got enough back branches to keep that all filled. Uh, sprinklers come on, perfect timing, but we'll get through this. Um, I like the tree much more now. Explains this story of why why this side of the tree's died off. Um, yeah, it looks very much more interesting for me. I don't know how it looks in the camera, but I'm hoping it does well. I'll do a, do a close-up shot and turn the, turn the tree around. Um, I'll gin this area off because I might want to keep that. And that might flow nice into a dead wood, a bit of dead wood later. Uh, it might flow with the shari as well. So we'll see how that all comes up. And it'll peel off pretty easy. So we'll see how we go. It's just it's a really ugly branch and if it was smaller and thinner I think I could have used it but it's so heavy and so much reverse taper Even though I can't keep it all, I reckon I'm going to have to thin that out because it looks very heavy at, the, at certain spots. It's just by the time I thin it out, there might be a lot less wood to worry about. So, so the more I peel, the better it looks. So I'm just going to keep doing that. I'll thin it and make it look nice, and then I'll do it, do it, um, do it, do it. You know, turn the tree around and show you guys um, the finished product. So that's it. That's all the wiring I'll be doing. So it's good, but the tree's definitely changed in appearance. It's a one-sided with an apex over here. Let this bit develop. Get lots of sun in there now. I fanned out all the branches. Get lots of sun in there. Hopefully it helps with the back budding. Um, Maybe you need a slight tilt as well, maybe, or, or it could stay like that. But it's a really nice tree now. Uh, I really like it. Um, it's improved. Um, 
this would have been good as I said if it was thinner and smaller we could have used it and filled in it just a small little it just didn't need much but even so I haven't don't think I've lost much with that with that go on so yeah. so let me clean that deep wood up and then I'll do a last show okay all right so I've cleaned it all up uh, I've, I've gin that they just gin that and thinned it because it was a bit too heavy let's just show you the tree I'll do a little turn around what the tree looks like now this could be lower a little bit now hopefully that's the front for you guys um, so again nice little apex around here we've created created fold we've created pads cleaned underneath cleaned underneath we tried to do a layer here a layer a little bit lower so it's the lowest one and then a layer a little bit higher this is trying to just be just a bit higher than that so that's a medium that's in the medium that's the lowest that's the highest and it's off the same branch and you've got a little one at the back in here then we've got another one over here it's creating a nice little foliage pad now i've spread them out as much as i can the branching so it allows a lot of lots of sun and and um, to get in there and help these inner buds grow and that's the plan this will create the new apex because i had there was a huge amount of foliage out here now because the apex is now in here why would i need big, big massive foliage out there now so that was my the main decision of removing that um, I think it's a really nice truck. Probably tilt it up a little bit just so you can see a bit more eye level. And hopefully you can see the, the clean lines. Um, now the shari is easily explainable. Something's happened to the tree on this side and killed off this tree, um, leaving this side alone. Uh, I've got this hollow that I'm going to need to work on and create a bit more contrast and some detail. I just don't have any fine fine um, carving tools. You just need these very fine carving tools that almost like a pin and it just create these nice little lines in the, in the in the in the trunk. I just don't have those, so it's a matter of getting those and, and just doing a nice little fine detailed um, detail. Follow, just follow the contours, follow this round, 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 and look really nice. I just don't have the tools. Um, but anyway, that's that's it for this tree. I think I'm just going to let it sit there in a cover now. Um, hopefully, it looks looks good. Hopefully, it shows you. Um, the interest in what, what happened we removed quite a bit of foliage you know we did see that it's now the one sided tree before it had a bit there but mm, it is what it is uh, it's got to come off sometimes um, yeah I don't know I hope you guys enjoyed that uh, pretty pretty long long process on this tree spent quite a few hours on it um, started with the dead wood then, do, then painted it with lime sulfur it's come up pretty nice too I think you can start seeing the contrast in that colour. Um, yeah, I just need to be a bit more work there, put, apply some more lime sulphur. And that should be it. <clears throat> okay, guys, I think I'll finish the video up there. Hope that was of interest to people. Um, this tree, I think, has, cut, has needed that work and it's done now. And now I'll just sit on the benches and recover. See you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed that. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. See you guys later. <coughs>